again short at 64 and we're watching for them to hold in general under 63 and uh, the key number right now is 60 so we can get this prices to break down if this is a true exhaustion reversal up here on the upside and that sell side is going to take precedence again we're watching for the market to hold in general under 63 break them down under 60 by 60 quarter as a first sign of a lower dip possibly coming in and if we can get that 60 number to break down we're going to be watching for a move down to 56 so let's see if we can get 60 to break down here coming into 60 now let's see 60 quarter is the key number getting that 60 quarter out of the way ultimately breaking under 60 getting in the 59s 58s you know just kind of breaking them down and then we're going to watch for um, a slide down towards that 56 area to cover up the short here got the 59s coming in now that's good hold short be patient uh, this could take some time to develop the riggers could even come in and try to re-ramp them back up just because that's what they do they're riggers you know but let's see if we can get the 59s going break that down and we're going to try to hold them out and see if we can get a fast slide down towards 58 is a key number if you remember that was the support area in the last deal so they go down to 58 they break that down and we're going to watch for 57 to come in and then possibly a dive down to as low as uh, 56. So just keep an eye on those numbers let's see if we can break 59 down now get that 59 out of the way knock them down towards 58 and then under 58 we're going to be on high alert for covering the short if there for any reason there's a hard fast drop from here down to 57 we're going to just go ahead and cover them up but watch for 59 to break if there's not then we're, I'm going to expect a more of a concerted effort to roll them back to 56 let's see if we can break 58 down remember hard fast died to 57 or lower we're going to cover them up but a slow grind lower just hold them short for 56 so let's see if we can break that 58 down now that was the last support area we started to look bearish here let's break that 58 down and again still a hard smash down under 57 we're going to just go ahead and cover them up let's see if we can get it here hold short hold short hard smash looking for a hard smash there it is coming in um, watch a little lower here a little hard smash down under 57 taking them down towards 50 any smash under 57 here just go ahead and cover them up under 57 let's see if we can knock them down under 57 and then cover up this short 57 or lower cover them up hold on hold on I think they're going to 56 but let's just cover them up there's 57 got covered uh, by our auto trade group on the limit there and uh, you should have got the same if you moved your limit if not I'll try to hold the trade and manage it uh, down to that 57 again or lower because I didn't move our limit because I was saying just looking for a smash under 57 auto trade got 57 I'm gonna continue to stay with you here and manage the trade down under 57 uh, I still think they're going to 56 I think they're actually going lower but I'm gonna sit here and uh, ride it out with you in fact go ahead for now and uh, move that limit to 57 just so we have that on the books there whoops what happened there it is but we did get 57 after I called it out um, 57 cleared and our auto trade got filled on it so um, I'm just managing the trade um, for those who didn't get out at that 57 dip if you're new to the room you might have missed it I, I really advise you to watch for a couple of days in the room at least for one day instead of trying to just jump in and trade without knowing how I do things but I when I say when I said any hard fast dive under 57 that meant you can either put a limit at 57 or just work your uh, close button your instant close button on your trading platform generally when I say that it's better to uh,
put a limit on there but see like did you see that hard fast dive we just took from 58 and then they went and dove under 57 that's often what I'm referring to and then you would have just closed them out there the problem is you sometimes get some slippage on the deal because uh, you know you hit at the close like that one in particular they went 56 quarter and then they flapped back up higher so it's it's a little hard to determine because sometimes they just you know it's not so fast but anyway that second move down under 57 where I moved the limit up you got that that trade on there so short at 64 and then we covered them up at uh, 57 for plus uh, what is it plus seven points seven point gain on that one so we're just watching for the next trade setup now we're short there at uh, 59 59 looking for a move uh, short at 59 looking for a move to 56 <clears throat> let's see if they can uh, we're watching for the market to trade back lower into the lower bias 59 short working 59 working 56 let's see if we can dip them down to 56 here again get them going on the downside a little bit more dipping them down to uh, 56 short at 59 looking for a dip down to 56 they're acting a little weird I think the riggers you know like I said they they're a little bit sour grapes mood today so they're trying to jam the market and catch support and everything let's even dip them down just a little lower here stay ready to jump out anytime uh, still watching for 56 but we may have to monitor 57 because you can see there's this slight rigor kind of mood still going on here let's see if we can dip them down a little bit harder knock them down to 57 or lower 57 or lower I want you to cover them up there's too much there's weird rigor activity going on here watch dip under 57 to cover them up if you want to move the limit to 57 that's okay too see what I mean do you see that that little kind of tricky little bouncy stuff there the riggers are kind of going sour grapes on us here there's 57 cover them up there 57 right there boom 675 57 so we're out at 57 short at 59 and uh, covering them up there at 57 uh, for plus two points yeah when I do that on a fast dip under whatever I the easiest thing to do is just put a limit if I say if they, we get a fast dip at 57 or lower to cover them the the reason I do that let me explain the reason I do that by the way up two on that so we're just down a quarter on the trade. brought the draw down all the way back practically to zero hated to uh, use up those extra two points but that's the way the mop flops sometimes the reason I do that is because I'm expecting the market to make a hard dive down in most cases like this one I was expecting the market to make a harder dive towards our 56 but then when I saw the rigor propping activity coming in here I became suspicious but then that's when I said if we get a hard dive under 57 cover them up a lot of times I think unless you're real real familiar with how I trade and familiar being in the room say you've been in the room six months or whatever or a few months or whatever for you to become accustomed to those type instructions the easiest thing to do is like I did there just drag and pull your bracket up to 57 and then you you know work it as a limit order rather than a hard dive but a lot of times so many times I'll say in a hard dive under 57 and they'll go 57 and they'll go 54 you know or 53 and then that way you're coming in there like right there right when I said that you see that say that it happened back when I gave that original instruction so as a dive under 57 and you hit your close button you might have got the 56 target we originally wanted but at least you would have got 57 or lower you see that's the purpose of that but again just feel free to use a limit 
All right, so they're taking him down now. Good deal. And we're just watching uh, for the next trade setup now. Try to now work that 51 area bias. Watch for a move uh, along at 51 to 53 points, trading them up to 54. We're looking for a jump to 54 on a limit here. Stay ready to jump out. I don't know. I don't think the downside's over, but I think they can try to rebound on a triple quadruple test of that 51. Let's hope so. Let's see if they can take 51 and jump them back up here a little bit. And we're going to target 54 on a three-point revamp on the upside. Let's see if they can power punch them up. So far, they're not, which is disturbing. But hold long here. Let's see if they can gather some strength and power punch them up to 54 here. Targeting 54 on a rebound. Let's see if they can smash them up to 54 here. Long at 51, and we're looking for a jump up to 54 for a three-point target gain. Three even, three even coming in, three even. Looking for 54. Looking for him to break out above three and give us that 54. Let's take him up. Three-quarter, three-quarter, three-half, three-half. Four even, taking him out at four. Take him out. Exit the market if you're not out. Exit at the market if you're not out right there. 350 or higher there. We got it, but I think we got four. Did we get a trade through on four? We got four even, but uh, you should be out at 350 or higher on that deal. They ram any gift like that. When they ram straight up to our number, a lot of times it's good to just get out. They didn't quite trade through, but we got uh, out at 350. So long at uh, 51 and out at 53, 50 for plus 250 on that trade. All right, well, we ended up trading the blue line anyway. When they dipped below it, there were certain signs I saw that it pushed the idea of buying that dip from what originally on a move down there was, in my mind, was like a three or four level trade. And then when the dip there's just certain stuff I can't explain right now because i got to watch the markets here. But when they hit them again, it was like, you know, one could say double support and all that. But the trade went up to like a six risk-wise in my mind, so we got them there. And it worked out, luckily. So waiting for the next trade. That puts us up seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half points in the last three trades. Uh, again, just as a recap, though, those last three trades, we had a total of uh, 11 and a half points gain, uh, plus 7 on trade number 3, plus 2 on trade 4, and plus 250 there.